hello guys um for today i am i felt led in my spirit to do this prayer on depression um i just felt led in my spirit to do that and so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna tell you guys so many people in the church is depressed because the devil tries to come at people who are in the church he wants he wants us to be depressed he wants us to be not on our best so we can't minister to other people and i'll tell you there was a time when i was depressed years ago and it was the worst worst time of my life i can remember depression usually comes with some type of a trauma or something severe in your life um then that spirit tries to cling on to you and it just, it gives you a spirit of woe is me, of, of nobody likes me, of why should I live, of suicide tendencies. That spirit comes. And you got to know that that is from the devil. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, I'll tell you, when the depression hit me, um, I was going through my divorce. So not only was I going through the divorce, I was getting used to living by myself, being a single mother with two children. Um, I got to the point where I couldn't even pay my rent for my apartment. I didn't know where, how I was going to, where I was going to live. My car went out, couldn't find a job. It was one thing after another. And that's when that spirit took a hold of me and it held me so, 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 so tight. And I could not even go, I could go, I finally got a job. And I can remember I used to go to work and back home, work and back home. I didn't remember how I got to work. I'd bum rides to work from somebody or have my sister or my mom or somebody drop me off um, or, or, or somebody from, from my job, I, they'd pick me up. I, it was so, it was, it was terrible. And I don't remember how I got there. I don't remember how I got home. I just remember I would come back into my room and I would stare out the window for hours, hours at a time, just staring. I don't remember eating. I, I just remember eating cereal, but I had my two boys. And at that time, my best friend was staying with me and thank God she was because she fed my children. I literally was, I couldn't feed my kids. I couldn't do anything, um, but stare out the window. And I went through that for months. I can remember one day my children was mommy, please, please, please. They were little then. Can we just go somewhere? They were so tired of being in the house. Can we just go somewhere? And I tried, I said, I, I can't. I just, I, I, I physically, you feel like you can't go into the world. It's, it's terrible. I know where you are. I know. And I remember I tried, I got up, went outside and I wanted, by then I had a car, but I still was just so depressed and it was so heavy. I got up and I went outside. I said, I can't do it. And my boy said, please. It was such a warm, sunny day. It was a beautiful day. And I said, I cannot do it. And I remember, I said, God, you hate me. You hate me. Why, why, why? I could not understand. And I was talking to this guy and he said, God, don't hate you. He loves you. He's making you, he's breaking you down. And that's when I understood. I said, okay. And there was a preacher that came on, 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 on TV. And he said, somebody's struggling with depression. He said, I want you to put your hands on the TV and come along with me. And he said, we're going to break that thing. And I can remember that day it broke just that spirit of depression broke off of me just like that and that's what we're going to do today let me give you some scriptures real quick um here's the thing i got my war binder here you guys know if you've been following me i have scriptures and i have all that stuff written down so i'm going to speak some stuff god don't want you depressed okay that no that's from the devil jeremiah 29 and 11 says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And then in Luke 21 and 15 says, and I will give you the right words and such wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to reply or refute you. So to me, what that's showing is that God wants us to be prosperous. It is not just talking about money, but it is talking about in every area of our life. He wants to give us a plan. He is not trying to harm us, but he's trying to give us a hope in a future. 
So let me tell you this. The Bible says once the Holy Ghost come upon you, then you should have dunamis power, power to heal the sick, power to raise the dead, power to do all of these miracles. And so because God has given me the gift of the Holy Spirit, I am going to pray for you today. And I want you to do just like I did years ago when I put my hand on the screen. The Bible says when two and three touch together or come together and, and, and um, in his he will be in the midst. So I believe that God is going to be in the midst of this prayer on today. So let us pray. And so, Father, I come to you on today. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord God, as they are laying their hand on the screen right now. Father, we bind up every spirit that will come against them. The spirit that will come, that spirit of depression, we break and we bind you right now in the name of Jesus. You cannot have God's people. Their spirit must be free. Their spirit must be broken in the name of Jesus. God, you said whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound up in heaven. And so, Father, we lose right now. We lose peace. We lose happiness. We lose joy into these people's lives right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every person that is watching under my voice right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you in advance for what you're doing in these people's life. We thank you in advance for the testimonies that are even going to come in the name of Jesus. You said what we speak. We can speak it into the atmosphere. So I speak that that spirit of depression will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, you must go. You must flee. You must leave their life right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord God. You died on the cross for us. You died on the cross for our sins. You died that we may be healed and set free. And I thank you right now for every person that is watching, that they are broken. We plead the blood of Jesus. We thank you that within the next few hours, Lord God, a happiness, a spirit of laughter and joy will come over them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that they will see the good in life. The good in life. The good, the good, the good. And not just focus on what the devil wants you to focus on. See the good, you guys, in life. See the good. Take the blinders off. The devil wants you to think everything is bad and everything is terrible, but it's not. This day, remove those blinders. See that you have a house to live in. See that you have a car to drive. See that you have a spouse. Your children are alive. See the good in things. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for healing. We thank you for delivering. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask all these things in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.